Bloomberg and uh, Tetrate were collaborators on the Envoy Gateway project. And around this time, uh, Bloomberg also is uh, looking for a more scalable solution for their AI gateway. And naturally, you know, Envoy Gateway came in mind or Envoy came into mind as a natural technology foundation. Um, they see a lot of maturity there. And we together see sort of a, a possibility of like a standard open stack based on Envoy Gateway. So out of this need for scalability and the maturity of this good technology platform that is Envoy Gateway and two contributors on the Envoy Gateway project came the idea of Envoy AI Gateway. Hi, this is Yohosopin Bharti and today we have with us David Bang, Head of Product Management and Product Marketing at Tetrate. David, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here, Sofnil. Nice to, good to see you again. It's my pleasure. Uh, last year, uh, Tetrate and Bloomberg joined forces uh, on the Envoy Gateway AI initiative to improve enterprise AI functionalities. The project is finally completed, and that's why you are here to talk about this project. We talked to Tetrate last year when you folks you know, started working on the project. So for those who don't know, uh, I would get into some of the basics. First of all, let's just talk about Tetrate. Uh, what do you folks do? Tetrate provides uh, avail application availability and security uh, over networking. So we provide intelligent networking so that application developers can provide security and availability for their apps much easily through the platform team. And how are you folks associated with Envoy? Because a lot of folks don't know that side of the story as well. In many different ways. Uh, a lot of our uh, technical staff work with Envoy uh, extensively in production uh, early in their career. And today, Tetrate as an organization is behind many of the projects that uses Envoy um, to make it ready um, for enterprise production use. Now let's talk about the Envoy Gateway project and this collaboration. Envoy Gateway is an interesting project. You know, as you know, it's based on a really proven battle-tested uh, project Envoy Proxy. Um, it is an open source project under CNCF. Um, and it is becoming sort of like the open standard for handling Kubernetes ingress traffic um, through the, the gateway API. And uh, the good thing about it, interesting thing about it is, you know, Tetra is definitely leading the community here, but uh, it's very community driven. A lot of the feature development is driven by the community and there are quite a few vendors very involved. So it's shaping up to be an exciting project. Um, and in particular, I would say that, you know, one of our great partners in the Envoy Gateway project is is Bloomberg. Um, and that has helped us to uh, grow the community, grow the contributions, and identify many future interesting ideas for Envoy Gateway. And out of which, out of this effort, came Envoy AI Gateway. Thank you. Now, can you go into the specifics when we talk about, you know, you know, enterprise AI functionality capabilities. What are we talking? What were the requirements? What are the needs that Bloomberg had? It's not just uh, Bloomberg, but generally, but but I think they they are a very good representation because they are uh, fairly forward thinking. So there are a couple of issues. So one, the first and foremost is probably uh, scale. So uh, you know, people want to build infrastructure that can scale to many different teams. And with it comes a few sort of scaling challenges. There's the ability of the gateway itself to handle loads, concurrent loads. There's also the more abstract sort of functionality of multi-tenancy. So if you're building a shared infrastructure for multiple teams, how do you manage sort of like a shared use? Um, there are other enterprise, further enterprise uh, features is how do you simplify the developer experience um, through some kind of a unified API and how do you give them visibility into the usage and troubleshooting. Um, so I would say these are the general dimensions of enterprise needs, which is scale, developer experience, visibility, and some aspects of governance. And as you rightly said, Bloomberg, you know, folks may not know, they heavily contribute and they're involved with a lot of open source projects also. Uh, it, this is actually interesting, you know, folks don't you know, realize you know, that how many of these you know, companies uh, collaborate and contribute. Uh, now, going back to the point of uh, NY AI Gateway, uh, as you mentioned, it, it just goes beyond Bloomberg. It's open source, so everybody will be benefiting from it. What kind of functionality does this initial release deliver? So this uh, initial release uh, delivers really roughly three things. The first is a unified API, which includes integrations with AWS Bedrock and OpenAI. And the second thing is upstream authorization, 
uh, for a central team to provide credentials on behalf of the developer teams. And the third thing is uh, usage rate limiting. Um, and this allows uh, somebody to set governance uh, on usage. So these three things overall improves developer experience and enhances the ability to centrally govern uh, AI usage. What was the working relationship? What were the collaboration look like between Tetrate and Bloomberg? Yeah, so uh, I would say that we are the driving force behind a lot of the code contribution. So there is uh, a lot of uh, uh, sort of, I would say, information sharing about uh, the priorities of enterprise features as well as community. Um, there is a lot of very active uh, coding work, like code reviews and uh, design reviews. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, desire to include uh, as many of the community members um, as possible. So, you know, if you think about some of the earlier features I mentioned in this first release, Unified API um, for AWS uh, and OpenAI, I, I forgot to mention there's also upstream authorization and usage rate limiting in this first release as well. Um, these features were all uh, heavily collaborated on and contributed by engineers from both companies. Can you also talk about what was the initial goal? What led to this collaboration, this partnership? Uh, as I said earlier, Bloomberg and uh, Tetra were collaborators on the Envoy Gateway project. And around this time, uh, Bloomberg also is uh, looking for a more scalable solution for their AI gateway. And naturally, you know, Envoy Gateway came in mind or Envoy came into mind as a natural technology foundation. Um, they see a lot of maturity there. And we together see sort of a, a possibility of like a standard open stack based on Envoy Gateway. So out of this need for scalability and the maturity of this good technology platform that is Envoy Gateway and two contributors on the Envoy Gateway project came the idea of Envoy AI Gateway. What kind of roadmap, what does the future of Envoy AI Gateway look like? There are a lot of uh, uh, exciting developments in terms of developer experience and uh, governance. So when it comes to developer experience, we'll want to expand the unified um, API to other models, so such as uh, Google Gemini. Um, and we, are, we have you know, Google contributing there. Um, and uh, in terms of availability, we're thinking about more advanced uh, ways to do fallback logic, so provide a model fallback logic. Um, and in terms of convenience, uh, it's like prompt templating. So um, again, simplifying how you might uh, use AI resources. And lastly, for sort of potentially cost savings and resource management, semantic caching. So these are the things, that, uh, a, a subset, I should say, of the, of the things uh, on the roadmap. And there are many things uh, being planned right now. Can you talk about the importance of these kind of collaborations for open source projects like NY Gateway or NY AI Gateways? One thing we've been working on both projects is to have a lot of uh, forums for community participation of both vendors as well as end users. Um, so in both settings, there are many regular community meetings uh, and more coming up where folks are invited to participate in sharing their ideas and sort of pick up, uh, pick up areas of contribution that they like to participate in. Um, so all the ro roadmap stuff I mentioned is the result of uh, community organizers coming together and thinking and contributing. So overall, I would encourage anybody who's interested in either Envoy Gateway or Envoy AI Gateway um, to participate in these community meetings. Of course, this project has completed. Uh, can you also talk about what are the other things when it comes to, because AI adoption is growing, even we are running AI with a scope pilot, it depends on, uh, it's getting baked into our system itself. And you look at new chips, uh, they're all coming with AI baked into that. Talk a bit about what does uh, it mean for the Envoy, Envoy Gateway project, and what are the things in your pipeline, or what are the problems that you folks are looking at solving next? The issue we foresee coming up is that as uh, AI adoption goes broader, um, the enterprise governance and compliance problems will only increase in complexity and scale. And some of it will go beyond just concerns of the gateway. So I think the projects, the gateway projects will address the concerns of traffic management. Um, the bigger question will be, so beyond the project, uh, you know, how will enterprises tackle uh, broader compliance questions, which is how, around how you evidence good AI usage and how do you budget and forecast on ROI? 
those are the questions that I think the broader sort of industry beyond the gateway will be tackling in the next uh, few quarters. David, thank you so much for joining me today and give us an update on this NYAI Gateway project, the collaboration between Bloomberg and Tetra. Thanks for great insights. And as usual, I look forward to chatting with you folks again. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Glad to be here and uh, hope to be on again. There will be lots of new developments in the coming coming months.